got my computer hashing away here. And uh, I also got a new package here. And we're going to see what's inside this. And it's... It's Funko Pop. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I bought that with it. But it is this GTX 1070. And there it is. Oh, it looks really nice too. Now, I need to activate... Four, I need to see if my 4G decoding is activated on this motherboard. I need, I don't know if I've done that yet. Um, and I'll also add this GPU on there. Alright, so I just enable 4G decoding and... Uh, or above 4G decoding and... Uh, for some reason my computer wouldn't boot initially. And I unplugged the riser cable for the 3080 Ti and it worked. So I'm thinking my third riser died. So that's, um, that's not good. Uh, but I can fit all three... GPUs on this motherboard just right here. I have a friend of mine, Chump Change, who I'll link in the description, uh, who said he would send me some risers. So, uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll attach all the GPUs on directly to the motherboard and uh, and I'll uh, I'll get it working. All right, I got the card here, and that looks pretty nice. Now, now I'm gonna plug this in right here and boot it up with just this card to make sure it's in working order. All right, that's. That's in there good, and uh, I'm going to plug it in. I got the card running here. It has some uh, nice LEDs on it, but um, it's running just fine now when it's connected directly to the board. All right, I got all three cards here plugged in and powered. Got to turn it on. All the lights are on, so that's good. Now, let's plug the HDMI cable in. See what happens. The airflow on here is going to be terrible, I know it, but I mean, it's going to be hashing more than it would be with just two cards, so I'm going to uh, turn down the power limit on them. I got all the cards right there, it's being all being detected, and let's see, ooh. That's not good. And it just blacked out on me, I wonder why. I'll unplug it and plug it back in. I'll restart it, see what happens. All right, it's powered on again, and there we go. Hopefully it doesn't shut off this time. There we go. Cable management here is a little bit of a mess, but it is what it is for now. I got MSI Afterburner and open, and let's see if it picks up the other cards. It does. It hasn't saved, it saved my 3080 profile. Actually, no, it, mm, it didn't, it saved one of them. But that's not a big deal. I'm going to go set up my overclock, so I'll be right back. All right, so I managed to get them up and mining right now. I have uh, the overclocks right here. I'll show you in case you're interested. This is the 3080 Ti. The, I have the uh, memory clock set l less than normal because the LHR lock kicks in every now and then, e even though it doesn't when the other cards are attached uh, on 1300, but it just is throwing a fit with me with that so I just turned the memory down and here's for the 1070s for both of them and I'm getting a total of 140.1 mega hash that's pretty good right here so um yeah let's uh let's see what it does on Ravencoin for those who are interested I'm drawing 650 watts all right, so I'm getting almost 90 mega hash on Kapow, and I'm, but I'm running into an issue where the memory temperatures for the uh, 3080 Ti is overheating, but I'm, I'm going to have to turn down the power a little bit. But this is what it would run 24-7, 90 mega hash, if I had the risers and they were all spread out. Here are the overclocks I have for it right now. It's the same one I, I have in the having my overclocking video. Both 1070s are running this overclock here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have it all running here. It's gonna hash like this. I'm gonna change the overclock so to drain less power on the 3080 Ti. So I got all the cards here running. I'm probably gonna tune the overclocks for this temporary configuration here uh, with them all clumped together right here and producing heat. It's gonna become a little bit more toasty in my room. Nah, that'll be fun. Also, for those of you that are interested, I'm going to be posting an update for my journey with solo mining Ravencoin on January 11th or 12th. Uh, depends on when I get it recorded and up and running. If, if I can't record it at the time, it might end up being a little bit later than that. That's going to be coming in the future, and I'll share my results with you from that. And that's also when the having it... Ooh, 
An error message. Illegal memory was encountered. I'm gonna have to tune these overclocks. The video is gonna come out here here around that time. I'm most likely gonna have to turn, tune these overclocks a little bit more over the night and probably tomorrow as well because of the, you know, I'm getting issues like right there. Illegal memory access was encountered. I gotta figure that out, but um, but I'll do that later. So one last thing before before you go, I just wanna say thank you so much for all the support that all of y'all have been giving me. In the first month that I've been making videos, this channel has gotten over 10,000, almost over 11,000 views in one month of this channel starting. And that's that's just great. I've gotten almost 150 subscribers. And uh, that's amazing. And I'd like to say thank you. If you aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and, and like the video. Thank you. One last thing is that I managed to get the riser working and uh, they're no longer all clumped together. Right here, as you can see, so um, they're not uh, limited because of the heat constraints anymore. That's it. Bye. My lights are flickering. I'm wondering if I'm running out of power. That's not good.